here again and we are going over the next step of painting the koala. I have so far stretched the canvas. Actually, he stretched the canvas. I drew with pencil the koala and then I painted it in black. And then I decided I was going to do a blue green fade and did a couple of test panels to see what kind of an under painting I wanted, if any. And so here's what we came up with. We've got flake white and cadmium yellow pale, flake white, cadmium yellow by itself, flake white and flake white, and then nothing at all. And so we let them dry and we looked at the way they each look. And we decided that we did not like the yellow underneath the green at all. So we're not going to be doing that. And then since these two essentially look about the same, why waste money and time on white underneath when I can just do it directly on the panel? So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to paint the blue-green fade, the first layer. I'm not sure if we're going to do any more layers. It just depends on how it looks. I don't have a ton of paint, so it's going to be a really thin, bright, hopefully bright, layer. And we'll be able to see the black koala behind it, and then I'm going to paint the black koala again once I have my fade the way I want it to look and make it a little bit more three-dimensional looking. And um, then we should be done until it's dry and we can varnish it and everything. So. We keep saying we, but she's going to be doing the painting because I don't, you don't want to see me paint. I'd like to see him paint. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with a layer of liquid medium on the canvas to get it prepared for the paint. Liquid's a medium I use because I have it and it basically allows the paint to flow better, be a little bit more transparent, get rid of some of the paint lines. So I want it really, really thin. I'm going to use a lot of liquid on this layer. I'm worried that if I do the blue too dark, it's going to be too dark for the black on top of it and not show real well. And I have my little painter's smock that I bought 50 odd years ago and have never used until now. So I might as well use it. Might as well. Do I look like a flasher? Slight. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I think it makes me look fat. Do I look fat in this? No. No, no you do not look fat in that. Good answer, honey and trained well. Yes. She got paid for that one. <laughs> anyway, okay. So we're going to do phthalo blue and phthalo yellow green. I'm going to start with the blue on top after I put the liquid on because I'm really short and this painting is really tall. And I don't want to be pushing myself into this paint while it's, while it's on there. So anyhow, here we go. As fast as I can. Yeah, Luckily this cold. stuff does not Dry. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't dry very quick, but we're going to need a lot of it. I think we're going to run out. Why don't you tell them about your beautiful easel that you made? My beautiful easel. Yes. My beautiful easel is an eight foot aluminum A frame ladder with a two by four screwed to it. And you did this because? Because we don't have an easel big enough for this painting. It's the only painting thing. this big because <laughs> we're not too sharp. Yeah. It's the only thing we could think of because a regular easel, if we were to just stick it on an easel, the top of the easel would be poking out of the canvas. So you can't have it, you'll have a permanent indention in your canvas if you have something like poking out of it that long. So it works. If you have a ladder around and you want to do a stupid big painting, Got it stupid there. big. That's a stupid with two O's. Stupid big. I think we're okay. Can you still got more in that bottle? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Well, that way you're not leaning up against the bottom of it. Yeah. I should have you do this part so my arms don't get sore. It's not like I need to be the one to do this. That's some professional painter out there is cringing. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they are. <laughs> We should name our koala. What should we name him? Koality. That's a stupid name. Wow. <laughs> we could name him the Donald. <laughs> no. Now I want you. Stop. Okay. 
got to fill in. So I want you to add some liquid up here and try to thin out the color a bit. I'll do this. Here you go. Okay, I'm going to start with the green. The phthalo yellow green. And hopefully not run out of liquid. You want me to pour out more green and more liquid? Yep. Or the last one liquid? Yep. This is covering up my black that I've painted for my koala, but that's okay. As long as I can see where the koala is, I will paint black all over again with more detail. All right, I'll mix some liquid in with this paint. We've got more paint up here you can pour in if you want. The liquid makes it much smoother and silkier, and it fills in those gaps. It's runnier, and just really like it. Happy koala. The Donald. No, we're not calling him the Donald. Or can we name him the Donald? He's doing about as much as the Donald does. Maybe we should just leave the politics out of it, though. Oh, you know what? You're on a popular YouTube channel, don't you? <laughs> Do you think people form their own opinions about who they think you voted for just off, like, watching you talk for a few minutes? Probably. Uh-oh. That was, uh... That was your alarm. That was my alarm, because we have to go pick up our littles soon. Nah, make them walk. They're in a play. We have to go get them from the play. So we really, really need to hurry. We didn't plan this very well. It's okay, though. We never plan anything very well. That's all right. Move your brush out of my face, woman. Make me man. Make me man. Gouge a hole in it. That would be a bad idea. I would have to hurt you. Yeah. So, you don't want to talk about politics? No. Religion? No. no. I'm not a religious man. No religion, no politics. No money. Not talking about money? So, we're supposed to talk about money. More of my allowance. Uh, we want to move, so we should talk about money, right? What is uh -huh. it we want to do with our money? We want to save our money so we can spend our money. How are we going to spend our no, money? No, we want to save our money and pay off our bills. Oh, well, yeah, that's a good way to spend our money. We've got to pay off our bills so we can afford to move. Okay. Question. Yes. Up on top of the blue, mm -hmm. it looks like it gets lighter as it comes down. Do you want to make okay. the bottom green darker than the middle green? No. See how it's darker up there? Mm -hmm. no, lighter? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Is there any left? Oh, there is. Okay, I'm going to start fading green up a little bit. And then we'll probably fade the blue down a little bit, and then we're going to call it a day and see how it looks when it's dry. How are we going to fade the blue down? We need more liquid over here. brush over here. Okay. We might have to go over this faded area again later. We'll see how it turns out when it's dry. But for now, it's what we are looking at. It's not bad. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely got some stroke lines here. I don't have a whole lot of liquid left to mix it. I'm not worried about it. I like it. Yeah? You need to, do you have just a green brush? You don't have just a green brush, do you? Mm -hmm. you yes, I do. No, you mixed it. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. I was going to say it's the bottom. Another day, another layer. White. I could use an acid brush and just get in some of this white. I don't know how much the acid brushes would fall apart. Okay, Which one am I working with here? It looks like it's mixed. Or is this straight green? Huh? Is this mixed with That's blue? green. That's straight green. You can take that brush and there? No, it does not. Okay. Yes. We have 10 minutes and we have to leave, maximum. Create some kind of 
beside these brush strokes right here maybe. And that looks pretty good. I think it'll be good for now. Yeah. So that's going to be our basic background color. Blue fading to green. I think I would have liked it if the blue was even brighter, but kind of everything. So it is what it is. We will go from here. Can I make it any lighter if I... I wouldn't mess with it too much. Yeah, it's not really coming off anyway. Okay. Live and learn. Next time I'll use a whole lot more liquid and a whole lot less paint. Next time we'll have more supplies. That's true. Okay, so we're going to let that dry and take a look at how it looks when it's done and see if we want to begin going over the black again. We shall see. With our next layer. Looks pretty good though. I can see the black right through the blue, not so much the green. Oddly enough, I thought it was going to be the other way around. Huh. Okay, so we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Yeah, don't Did forget I to hit that. I didn't even no, get paint on me. Yay! Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos, do more on this, more on other projects going on around the house, and get it going. Okay, we'll see you soon. Thank you.